We'll jump into a little Kansas versus Texas. I'll I'll start us off All here right. with Texas. Chris, they're back. Oh, I hate that word. <laughs> <laughs> no, in all seriousness, though, the, Long, the Longhorns, they're doing everything they should at this point, right? Um, they beat Bama, survived against Baylor and Wyoming. We've seen we've seen lesser teams not <laughs> or come a lot closer. Um, they're ranked twenty six. They're, they're ranked twenty sixth on total defense, Chris. Twenty sixth in the country on defense for a Texas led team. That's pretty damn good considering what they've been. And especially with Sark as the coach, I would have probably not guessed that. Um, currently ranked eighteenth in rush defense. And here's the thing: they can stuff a pretty balanced. Here's the thing. Can they stuff a pretty balanced Kansas offense and force Jalen Daniels to beat you throwing the ball? Biggest question for me in Texas in this game. Kansas is ranked 26th in total offense, and their best, and this is going to be the best offense I think the Longhorns have faced this season, bar none. I mean, the game is at home for Texas. Should be interesting. Kansas has a top 25 defense. Longhorns ranked 43rd in total offense. A little different than what we're used to seeing. We're used to seeing uh, Texas kind of run the ball with Bijan and just throw it down the field a million times a game and look pretty good. I think the Longhorns, they've struggled to run the ball. They've ranked 67th in rushing offense this year. Chris, Quinn Ewers and the Horns offense can't afford to have a flat game against the top 25 Kansas team, right? I, agree. I mean, they, they can't afford to get caught looking ahead to Oklahoma next week. Yeah, you said it best, man. I'm going to tell you why I think Kansas has got a shot in this game, dude. I know a lot of people laugh when they see the name Kansas, but we don't talk about them near enough. They're 4-0. Wins against Missouri State, Illinois, by the way, and they dismantled them 34 23. That, that game wasn't even close, by the way. If anybody watched, I did. I lost some money on it. That's why. Moving on, though, they beat Nevada. They beat uh, they beat a BYU team who knocked off Arkansas the week before. So um, Kansas is coming into this thing pretty hot, man. You, you spoke on it, Chris. You talked about Jalen Daniels. This guy's really good, man. This kid didn't even play the first week of the season. He's, he's 56 to uh, 75 this year, 705 yards. He's got five touchdowns, one interception. But he's also got a couple rushing scores. This kid is electric back there, honestly. If you watch him, he reminds me of, and I can't believe I'm saying this, uh, a, a, a lesser version of Shador Sanders. He makes plays. He extends plays outside the pocket. He, he's relatively accurate. He keeps plays alive, man. He's actually really fun to watch. Um, they also have a stud in Devin Neal, though. At running back, kid's got 57 carries, almost 400 yards, five touchdowns, and uh, I think it's both KU running backs are averaging over seven yards a carry. I think it's Daniel Henshaw Jr. is the other back, Christian. Seven yards a pop, man. That's uh, that's that's elite. That's 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 good numbers. So, but you you talked about it too, Christian. We talk about this too with KU. It, their defense is definitely improved from last year, but is it enough against Quinn Ewers and that high octane offense in Texas? And that talent, especially that talented group of wide receivers, we talk about them a lot as well. Um, if Kansas wants a shot in this one, they're going to have to put up some points. Daniels is going to have to play his best game of the season. I think he can because um, we know Texas's defense is really good, right? They're only giving up, I think, less than 13 points a game, Christian. Texas defense, we've seen them against Alabama. And Alabama, you know, offense probably not elite. But let's let's be honest, Texas is is – defenses has got a lot of returning starters from last year they seem to get better and better every week so i'm going to give you my prediction right off the rip christian kansas 27 texas just too much 37 give me texas 35 kansas 31 oh we're close though we're close i like it 